Hi, I'm Olivia, and today's happy night comes from Thanksgiving, the wonderful American holiday. Thanksgiving is a time to honor what we have, to be grateful for the providence of freedom and the promise of a new beginning. The spirit of Thanksgiving is one of bountiful harvest, but also of joy, gratitude, and the possibility of living in peace and harmony. The history of the American holiday goes back to England during the 16th century amidst the English Reformation, which sought to break away from the Roman Catholic Church. One of the complaints Reformation leaders had were the amount of holidays. There were 147 religious holidays in England every year, where church attendance was mandatory and work was not allowed. Part of these reforms were pragmatic, as these holidays threatened people's livelihoods, stopped craft production, endangered the food supply, and encouraged drunkenness and violent behavior. After King Henry VIII's reforms, holidays were reduced to 27 festival days a year, but a growing number of Protestants or Puritans believed these holidays were random and of pagan origin. Puritans had two very important holidays, days of thanksgiving and days of fasting, which were tied to their belief in divine providence or the lack of it. If they believed that a divine blessing was being bestowed upon them, like saved crops, providential showers, the safe arrival of a supply ship, or victory in battle, they observed a day of thanksgiving, with prayer, reflection, study of scripture, and a traditional feast and fellowship activities. If, however, they felt they were being punished by divine judgment, they observed a day of fasting or humiliation, where they fasted, prayed, studied scripture, and examined the nature of their behavior. Many of these Puritans grew to believe the Church of England was corrupt, and they felt they could no longer worship the way they wanted to, so they fled to Holland. Some of these Puritans boarded a ship called the Mayflower and set sail towards the New World in search of religious freedom. After an agonizing journey, where half the crew and passengers perished, the Puritans, or pilgrims, landed on Plymouth Rock in 1620. By 1640, Puritan holidays, as in holy days, were established in every New England colony. These holidays were part of everyday life, as the pilgrims lived to the rhythms and whims of nature, surviving the harsh New England climate. The holidays were individually declared by churches and civic authorities in each individual colony. During the American Revolution in the mid-18th century, the providential holidays of fasting and thanksgiving were brought to the national level as President George Washington declared his first national thanksgiving in 1789. The thanksgiving holiday was eventually proclaimed by each individual state every year. As the generations of pilgrims evolved into New England Yankees, the thanksgiving holiday no longer depended on divine providence, but it celebrated faith, family, and a successful year. In the 19th century, a classic New England holiday featured religious activities, the lavish turkey dinner, chicken pie, plum pudding, and mince, pumpkin, and apple pies, as well as games, recreation, and leisure activities. It was a contemporary holiday with no associations to the past, but as the century grew to a close, an industrialization changed the face of society, shifting from the agrarian farm life to the factory, town, and city life. Victorian Protestant middle classes began to feel a sense of nostalgia for the past, looking for an idyllic and uncomplicated way of life that was being lost in the frenzy of modern industrial living. The American Civil War shook the nation, and it prompted Americans to look for a sense of security in the past, for values rooted in the home, family, and tradition. President Abraham Lincoln declared a national thanksgiving in 1862 and one in 1863, and it was after this second thanksgiving that our modern sequence of national thanksgiving holidays began. The post-war emphasis on family and nostalgia led Americans to explore their colonial past and culture, looking to their earliest immigrants the Pilgrims of Plymouth, for a story of origin in which they could root themselves with common values as a nation. The story Americans embraced was one of community, 
friendship, cooperation, and hard work. The Harvest Festival at Plymouth in 1621. Technically, this was not a religious celebration the way Puritans celebrated Thanksgiving. It was a secular celebration where the pilgrims shared in the bounty of the land with their Indian neighbors in harmony. In the 19th century, there were critics who attacked the ideals the Plymouth Pilgrims stood for. Faith, strength, perseverance in the face of hardship. Wanting to cast all pilgrims in the darkest light as religious extremists. But their dissenting opinions did not reflect the common sentiment of their day. And in the early 20th century, America was soon shocked by the Depression and World War II, where a sense of community, unity, patriotism, and family values were needed more than ever. Congress passed a law in November of 1941 mandating the fourth Thursday in November as a permanent date for the American Thanksgiving holiday. From James W. Baker's wonderful book, Thanksgiving, a biography of an American holiday. The spirit of Thanksgiving is best expressed during World War II in a Thanksgiving message from the ship USS Monticello at sea in 1943. Printed in the sailors' special Thanksgiving menus, the chaplain of the USS Monticello wrote, When we think of Thanksgiving, there comes to our minds turkey and football games. Lest we forget, Thanksgiving came into being as a holiday in America when people who came from across the sea gathered to give thanks unto God. They were thankful that they were safe after a sea voyage. There was food enough for all. Their potential enemies, the Indians, were their friends. They looked forward to freedom of worship, which had been denied to them in their native country. We on the Monticello have many reasons for giving thanks at this season. Just to mention a number of our blessings should invoke gratitude in our hearts. Among our many blessings are, one, we are alive, our ship is afloat and serving the nation. What might have happened to us on our ship has not. Two, we have hope of a final victory. The successes of our armed forces during the past year cheer us and give us hope of victory. The men and women which this ship has transported have played an important part in these successes. Three, our homes are safe. Not only has the soil of America been spared the ravages of war, but our homes are being held together by those who are brave and true. The spirit of gratitude of us on this ship is expressed in these words. Lord of life and death, we thank thee for the great adventure of life, with its untold possibilities, its mighty opportunities. We thank thee if we have thee with us, there is no monotony or weariness in the world. But we go on forever, exploring and adventuring across new seas where ship has never sailed before. We thank thee for that, for those who dwell with thee, each day opens new a continent of vivid experience. Each day shows new a world to conquer. For that thy love is new every morning, and life with thee is daily born again from its beginning. Thanksgiving is a national holiday of giving thanks, which is a remarkable tradition to have in a nation. But Thanksgiving is also a private holiday of personal experience, where each family and each person contemplates at an individual level what they have to be grateful for, regardless of the sometimes controversial origin of the Thanksgiving holiday whether one embraces the religious Puritan roots or the secular harvest festival. What's important to remember in modern times is that no matter where we come from, we share a heritage of American values embodied in the best quality of the Plymouth Pilgrims, of faith, of celebrating diversity, community, of embracing hard work, self-motivation, and self-sufficiency to thrive and to grow. The true spirit of the Thanksgiving holiday we honor every year is the universal spirit of gratitude. And that's today's Happy Nugget. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe. As always, I link below the video anything I recommend. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.